Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today I'm thinking about doing a big tank makeover. Whoa, proper aquascaping job. So yesterday I told you about the um, the cave fish and that would be really cool to build them a fish tank that had an actual cave in it. Well, half cave, half not cave. So they've got a nice cool cave they can go in and actually be a bit more realistic of what they have in the wild. Um, they're really, really cool fish. So I'm gonna tell you a bit more about them in a sec, but let's crack on and start today's video and have a good day. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell for me. And let's crack on with the jobos. Wahaha. Okay, so these are our blind cave fish. They're very, very cool. They have evolved in caves. I'm gonna to swap to my phone so you get a better view of it. That's better. So these are blind cave fish. They've evolved in really, really dark caves. And because there's no light, they've evolved to have no pigment and they've evolved to have no eyes. So what they have to do, they, they memorize the tank and stuff like that so they don't bump into stuff all the time. But there is another version of them. So these live deep, deep in the caves where there's no light at all. There is another version of them that lives on the outskirts of the cave. Those ones are blind, but they've kept their color. So because they're going out in the sun a little bit, they still need a little bit of camouflage so they don't get smashed by other pre by predators. Because if you're my pink thing in the middle of the day, in the daylight, you're gonna get snapped up. So you've got these ones that live deep, deep in the cave with no light and no light ever. And you get the other ones that will go on the outskirts of the cave, so they go in and out of the door of the cave. Those ones are blind, but they've got colour, so the predators don't get them when they go outside the cave. Very, very cool, very, very clever how they've done that as well. So what we're thinking of doing is breaking down this tank over here. So I'm thinking of breaking it down, starting again. It might take us, I've still got to, I haven't done any of the planning or anything for it. Um, we've got to work out how the pump's still going to work in there, how the heat is going to work in there, um, and or what we're going to do. So I've got to plan all that out. We've got to drain this down. We've got to build a frame to try and mock up the uh, rocks so we get an idea of what's going where. Um, normally you would all glue it in place and expanding foam it in place and stuff like that, but I haven't got a lot of, lot of things with me. Um, so we're doing it very, very smash bang today and just giving it a go. Uh, you know me, we don't plan anything. We don't plan, there's nothing scripted, nothing's pre-planned. I come in at the morning and go, okay, what are we gonna do today? Literally every single day. Every single day, every single video is off the top of my head. As soon as I walk in, I don't plan anything. That's why sometimes it's a bit like, halfway through the video, then we start the proper video because I thought of something sort of thing. Um, so we get this dismantled, start getting this dismantled. We'll catch the fish, we'll move the fish somewhere else. What I might do is we might keep the two, two species of fish in there. We might have some of the cave fish and I might have some of the green, the wild green tetras because they might live at the top. We might get the cave fish living in the cave. Might be really cool, might not. The, the, the cave fish might not even realize it's a cave because they're blind, so they won't even know. So, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. So let's crack on and start somehow, basically. <laughs> this is what we have at the moment. It's dragon rock, we've got the plants going around and stuff like that, but I have let it go a little bit wild, to be fair. We've got the big plant living off the top of it. Makes it pretty cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to give it a good clean, give it a good drying down and stuff like that. But first, we're gonna have to catch the fish, I think. We'll get the fish out. There's mount, um, green neons, and there's the odd um, little tiny pygmy um, raspora in there as well, chili raspora. So we'll see if we can find him as well. And then we'll whip everything out, give it a good clean and start from there. First thing, we take the lid off. Quite easily, just fall comes apart this tank does. Whoop, yep, see, all just falls apart. There we go. We've got to clean the lid, we get a nice clean lid on it as well. We can leave that one that side, that's not going to cause us any problems. Um, filter needs to clean, so we can do that. Heater is hidden around the back. You might be able to keep that there and just build our uh, rocks around this front area 
and leave the filter and that in this back little strip um, that might work for us that will and we can have the the cave go in from here and then we'll just have to leave a strip at the back where our equipment lives and then this should work fine this will go out on top of the water uh, okay so let's catch some fishes it's gonna be our first job so we've got some different tubs set up and what i've just thought is all the fish have gone straight behind the rocks so we're gonna have to take a lot of the rocks out first um and then we can get the fish out then because we're just gonna struggle otherwise fighting them hiding all the time so only tiny so what we're gonna do we're gonna go in there and we'll whip out some of the rocks we'll give them all a clean get some of the the algae off them like this just get the snails off them this is i'm gonna give them a proper scrub afterwards this is just to give a chance for the snails to drop off um, is this one rock on its own? Oh, yep, separate rock. Okay. There we go. I'm going to do that on most of the rocks now. Because usually when you uh, take the snails in and out of water, as soon as you put them back in water, they drop off. Because they think they, uh, they're going to get dropped or, or dry out. So there we go. Got a couple. So this is the one that we've got hold, hold, hiding the um, the heater. This one hides the filter. Um, okay, so this plant is knitted in, sort of. Is this sat on top? Is it? Okay, we've got the top piece. There There's still some snails in there. We'll get more and more. I'll wash them three or four times, I'll get all the snails off. We'll start with the tank about snails if we can. Okay, we're gonna take this bit. Yep, lovely. Go watch it because it's lowering the water in the tank. You know what I mean? Because we're taking all the rocks out, it's displacing the water. Okay, last couple. And we'll be ready to go. This one's got a plant attached to it though. You can see it's almost knitted into it. So that one's going to come with it. Plants will last a reasonable amount of time out of the water. And that's knitted right into that hole that has. Pretty cool. We'll have to wash it again to get all the little snails off. Okay, so filter is completely exposed now. Um, now with this one. This one might be awkward because... I believe this plant has knitted to it. Yeah, it has. My big tree is knitted to it, I think. Come on, big bush, let go. Yeah, it's proper knitted into it. Oh, oh, there we go. It's come loose, it's come loose all these roots attached to it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. I have to get that on a proper wash another time. Lovely pieces of rock though. Okay, so that can go back in for now. Some of these pieces I'm gonna have to just put aside so we can carry on doing our work. But this is gonna look good, because what do we have in caves? Roots and stuff. So if we have this in the bottom of the cave bit, it's gonna look really nice. So we've got more rocks down here. It's got a bit fuzzy now, so I'm not sure how much you can see. Uh, I'll catch the fish, show you that. I'm gonna put the fish in here, obviously not with this plant. And then we're gonna put the fish, uh, I'm keeping them in this tank, so I don't wanna acclimate them for something else at the moment. So I'll put them in there for now, won't be too long. Uh, we'll drain everything down, we'll take the plants out. We will start wrecking out our rocks. I've got to give them a wash first. And then we'll start doing the, the cave in the fish tank. Here we go, I've managed to catch all the fish. Plenty of water in there for them, just put the rock in there for them to hide behind. Uh, I might put them a little bit out of the way just so they're not getting scared by stuff. 
Uh, and if it starts to get a bit too long, I'm sticking air stone in there. I've also got the pump in here going. So uh, all the good bacteria is still going to be okay by the time we've got the tank ready. Because after about an hour of the filter not running, your fil filter bacteria is going to start to die. So this is going to keep it all running for me, nice and healthy. And uh, that would be sweet. This is just water that I've been draining out of there. Now we've got to get all the plants out, give it a little bit of a clean. Then I can start planning where the rocks are going to go and how tall we're going to have it and I've got to give the tank a good clean as well, it's a bit out of you. Okay, so we've got a big pile of plants, we've got all them ready. Those are going to sit on top of the cave. So we've got a nice land area on top of the cave. It's going to be underwater, but we're going to have a little grassy field on top of the cave. We're going to have our hole going down into the cave from above. So when you look at it, there should be a beam of light coming down into the cave. Lights up the cave, so it should look really, really cool. That is my plan anyway. Whether it comes out like that, I don't know. But what I've got to do now, I'm giving the tank a good little scrub getting all the algae off the tank, get rid of some of the snails, and um, away we go. I've got the tank clean, it's looking nice now. So I'm gonna start collecting out a bunch of the dragon rock. We're gonna start piling it. Well, I'm gonna have to wash it all in a bucket first, find what pieces we want. I might have to make a little jig, the same size as this tank, so we can mock up what we're gonna do first, but before we do anything, I actually got to go to the toilet because I'm going to wet myself. Oh, so let's quickly do that and then uh, we can crack on. Next stage, we need some dragon rock. So I've got fresh delivery of dragon rock. We had some massive, massive pieces come. They're going to be no good to us. We want little wall pieces so we can build our cave. So I've got a nice bucket of water. And what that does is going to wash any of the clay, any of the bits and bobs that are on it. So these nice thin pieces are great for us, exactly what we need. And yesterday I did find a top piece for the cave. Nice shallow, nice piece for the top piece of the cave. So I'm happy with that, we'll take that as well. Uh, we've got some other thin pieces. We can always come back and get some more if we need it. We're gonna need loads of little pieces to fill gaps and holes and stuff. So we'll take a bunch of that as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely job. If I need more, we can always come back or I can always smash some pieces up and make some small ones. As I said before, I'm going to guide you through most of it and then I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse because the amount of rocks I've got to put in there and jiggle around, it's going to be boring watching me put every rock in. Uh, but me doing it really fast might be a bit interesting to watch. Um, so as I said, we've got to leave a strip at the back for our filter and for the uh, heater as well. It's very important, we have enough equipment for that. So I'm always going, going to draw a line in the sand so we know where to go. So, oh, still going, I forgot, there we go. So there we go, I can see that line, you might not be able to see it, but I can see it. So it knows I can go up to there and that everything else is going to be where the filters go. Okay, so let's see if we can start getting an idea with this. It's not going to be super huge, the cave. Some of these are going to be really, really good pieces for it though. Like that. Absolutely lovely. I'm not sure how we're going to completely do it yet, but I've got an idea where we do strips of this as the lid and then we can put the rocks on top because it's a large expanse for uh, the rocks to cover and not fall over and stuff like that. So we might be cutting strips of this, using it as a supporting roof to put all our rocks on on top. Okay, so let's do a couple more. We really we want it to be sort of the same sort of height. Okay, that is our maximum on that side. See, we come right up to the line. Perfect to Monday. And 
Uh, now we've got to try and do the other side with some sort of equality. Has that big piece fell apart now? Is that that big piece I picked? It is, it's broke. It's all filling off. Okay, we'll have to work something else out then. Okay, it's our next piece. Great, and then hopefully we'll fill this up with substrate and sand, and then uh, you'll be able to see the nice cave. But you can see the sort of thing I'm going for, filling the sides of the tanks up and coming round, and we'll make the cave. Okay, so I've managed to get a bit of the cave started. Really, without using any of the glue and expanding foam and stuff like that, it's very vaguely higgledy piggledy tippity over. So, um, the cave's gonna come down at an angle like this. So, I get a better um, supply of water up the top for the, some of the fishes that don't wanna go down in the cave and stuff like that. The hole, I'm gonna try and get the hole somewhere around here for the beam of light going down. Uh, but it's a bit more hard than what I thought it was going to be. Balancing them, I thought I'd just be able to chuck them in, balanced and sorted, but it's a bit more technical than what I thought. But I'm trying my best, we'll crack on and do a bit more. The last two pieces went in sweet. So let me just clean the glass a little bit. You can see. So you can see now, this bit locks into this bit, but it locks into that piece. So we've got a nice, quite a solid lid now. Uh, we've got a little piece to hook cover up there. This is gonna be our hole inside. If I can get a thin strip down there, would really make it look nice. Uh, then we're gonna try and block as many holes as we can, because we've got to try and get some substrate on top of here. We'll block all this up, fill it all up with substrate. Uh, I have got a supporting rock holding, helping hold some of the stuff, but we've got plenty of room for the filter, plenty of room for the, the heater, so we're doing well so far. Okay, so I've got another rock here. I'm hoping it's going to fit in this slot down here. Lovely, it's gone down. Still got a little bit of a hole to do, but we can fix that, no problem at all. So we're gonna have a nice steady stagger down, which is gonna be good, because we still want area at the top. The fish can hide behind the back as well, and they'll be able to go in the hole and go all into this bit. Okay then everybody, I think the cave is finished. A bit awkward because you can't see the glare. There you go. So it's not perfect, perfect, but it's the best I can do with what we've got. So, we've got a big support beam, then these two interlock. This one is just spreading the gaps. So we've got our nice little hole for the fish coming out of. I've put little rocks around to block cracks and stuff like that. So hopefully we can get a bit of sand on top to hold. Um, and then we can get the roots rooting in and stuff like that. So that should really make it look nice and set it up looking good. I have dropped a couple of rocks in there, but that's fine, because what do you have at the bottom of caves? Rocks that fell from the top, so that's fine. Um, I think we'll start putting in a little bit of water. Then we can get the pump running again, get the heater running again. And then we can start doing the, the, uh, the gravel, the sand, and plants. Wahaha. -ha. So I filled it right up now. Whoa, it's looking good. The cave's looking really nice. I think it's looking really good. But as you can see, we've got a little bit of scum on the top. So I've cleaned the rocks, but obviously not as much as I should have. But I'm going to show you a little technique on how to clean it. So what you want, you want sheets of kitchen towel. Sorry, I'm all over the place. So kitchen, kitchen towel, and we just lay it on top. And then pull it off. And then that's got all that brown stuff wrapped up inside of it. I'll do it again, I can show you. I might do a bit of a skim so you can get a better look at it. There you go, you see all the brown on there? You might not be able to see it, it's a bit light. But uh, that's it, a bit of tissue on the top, it's peeled it up, and any kind of um, slime or scum at the top of the 
water, you can get it out like that quite easily. Bit of a uh, tissue paper and a bit of a swipe over like so. And you get quite a lot of it out as the brown. There you go, you can see the brown. There you go. So you can see it comes out on the tissue. Uh, and then I'll put the filter in and the filter will get rid of most of that now. So that's the next stage we're on. Installing the filter and installing the heater. Finding out where it's all gonna sit. If it's all gonna sit nice or if I've gotta do some moving around or something. So that is our next plan. Installing pumps and filters. Heater we've just had laid up here. That one we should. I've left the one sucker in. So I should be able to just plonk it back into the old sucker. Like that, stick the bottom sucker on. And there we go. That's in. You can drop these roots back down. Oh, come on plants. Ooh. You can drop these roots back down at the back. And that look nice once they start rooting into the cave. That's gonna look really nice, that is. So these ones are a bit tippy, so I'm gonna put them a bit lower. Oh, come on plants, play the game. Let's get the filter in and we can worry about the plants after. Okay, so I have changed the angle on it. Okay. So that should be in nice now. So let's plug it in. And it should start going. Tip, don't put plugs in with wet hands, you're asking for problems. Always dry your hands thoroughly first before you do it. So that should now, Whee! That's gonna clean the water for us. I've still gotta put some dechlorinator in. Uh, and then we're gonna get some of the gravel, see if we can get some gravel to sit on top of here. Then we can start planting our plants in the top area and we can start adding fish. add the gravel so this is the shrimp gravel we had arrived yesterday so the plan is just to try and fill up these areas as much as we can with gravel and hopefully build ourselves a place to put our plants is the plan I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, the gravel slipping down. So I've managed to get some in places, but it, it is starting to fall through the cracks and stuff like that. I thought I did a better grip of feeling the cracks, but... So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start putting the plants in, and the roots and stuff hopefully will block some of the cracks a little bit more, and then we'll be able to uh, get the last bits of gravel in. And then I've just gotta wait for it to clear a little bit. We can add the fish. Fish are doing fine over there, I can show you them. And they're not at the top gasping or anything, so I'm not worried about anything like that. There they are all swimming around, really happy. All coloured back up, so I'm fine with them. They can last a bit longer. There's a little chilli respora. And we can add them back in later on today with the cave fish. Put the plants in water because they were starting to get a little bit dry. So we're going to put them in bit by bit. And then hopefully, oh, tweezers, grab it. We can get them all in. And get it all looking good and we'll be sweet it's a little bit hard i'm using my left hand so it's not really working the best but uh, i'll find little nooks and crannies from like that we'll put them in we'll be raring to go and then i can add more substrate and then hopefully it's going to look the part and we'll have a very cool cave still clearing we've got that's plenty of time yet and well, i've got most of the plants planted now and set in the way i like it i've got a bit too much water in there so what i'm going to do is to acclimate the fish because I don't want to, I, I can't put a bag in there and float the bag, it's not enough water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take scoops of water out of that, put it into here, then that will acclimate these fish for this tank, and then we can put them in, then I can catch the cave fish, we can add them to the tank, while well, we have to do the same thing, put them into a, a, a container, uh, treat, do the water with them as well, and then, Adam, and show you what we've done. All acclimated now, so we're going to net them up. 
all but a couple and then we're going to release them into the back of the tank so you can't see everything there we go we let them in there we go empty net that's what we like and then we grab the last three there we go Come on, there we go, last three. Lovely, I've got to adjust that because I've just messed up all the roots. Catching the blind fish now, they're blind, so it should be easy, in theory. In theory, they shouldn't see me at all. I should just be able to get them. Oh, he's clever. There you go, there's one. So this water is from their tank. So I'm catch the rest up and we release them into the new tank. Well, I've just acclimated the K fish to the, oh, phone call. Now we can do the fish. Waha, it's finally. Okay, come on KV. KV fishes, come on, there we go. Whoa, see, we don't want you to see, we don't want you to see. Gotta keep it as a secret, keep it secret. Okay, there you go fishes. Right, at the net, there we go. Last one, I've only got four. I thought I had more, I must have sold them all. I have to order some more. Cave fish to go in the cave. So there we go, everybody's out, everybody's ready. I'm gonna do a last couple of alterations, make it look pretty, just give it a couple more minutes just to clear a tiny bit more. It's virtually crystal clear now. Uh, let the fish settle, let them swim around and start going into some of the cool places. And then I'll show you how they doing, what it looks like, and uh, the finished piece. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, and then I'm gonna turn, no, I'm gonna turn the lights off in the shop, make it look as good as we can, and now I'm gonna show you. Ready? How cool is that? How cool is that? So we've got the light coming down through our hole. Oh, we've got a cave fish in there swimming around as well. Perfect. Literally, as I, they've, all the neons were up here, but they've, as I moved, I scared them when I went when I went to turn the light up. But I'll turn it around and give you a proper look at it. So I have brought the light down a little bit lower, just so it's a bit brighter for you. There you go, there's one of the cave fish swimming around in the cave. Got all the plants living up on top. A lot of people are hiding in the back. That gives them a hidey hole to hide behind and chill out. But I think it looks really cool. Absolutely epic. Especially with the cave fish in there, swimming around, checking out the cave, checking all the walls. That's what they would do. So they go around, they bump into all the walls, everything. They make a mental image of the tank and then he knows where he can go, where he can't go. It took them ages to come into the cave because they've got to come in through tubes they thought they might get stuck if it was a tube that went to a dead end, then they'd be stuck. So it took them a while, inching forward, inching forward, to slowly come in and realize there's a big uh, cave for them to hide around it. But I think I've done a cracking job on that. I really, really like it. I think it's gonna do us really, really well. There we go everybody, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you try anything like this, let me know all the neons are in there now in the cave, chilling out. So cool, so cool. I think it's done a, we've done a really good job on this. I'm really happy with it. The fish seem to be happy as well. So, uh, if you, but it's all the time I've got now, I've spent all day doing this. So please like, subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for me. If you wanna watch another video, there should be one there. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel, she's up there. If you wanna watch a playlist, she's up there. So uh, if you want to support us, there's a link in the description below. You can press join or you can buy some Snake Island merch. There's a link in the description below or Fossil Monday merch or whatever you fancy. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in the future. Bye.